The overall goal of this procedure is to isolate C. difficile from fecal samples to culture C. difficile for preparation of glycerol stocks for long-term storage and to prepare and enumerate spore stocks for a variety of downstream applications. This is accomplished by first isolating C. difficile from stool samples by plating on selective medium. The second step is to grow C. difficile in liquid medium and maintain long-term C. difficile stocks in glycerol. Next, C. difficile is retrieved from frozen glycerol stocks and streaked onto agar plates. In the final step, C. difficile spore stocks are prepared and enumerated. Ultimately, by following these protocols, C. difficile can be grown on various media to verify and confirm its identity and be successfully cultured and maintained. These glycerol stocks and cultures can be further used in numerous downstream applications including animal studies and additional molecular biology studies. The main advantage to using a vinyl anaerobic chamber to cultivate C. difficile over other methods, like using candle jars, is that a strict anaerobic environment can be maintained, allowing for consistent and reliable growth of C. difficile. Generally, people who are new to these techniques may encounter problems due to the lack of dexterity within the chamber because of the gloves and also because of the critical need to plan their experiments ahead of time. Demonstrating these procedures will be a technician from my lab, Jose Suarez. In the beginning, this procedure may be performed in aerobic conditions. First,